Oh, what it do, y'all? This your boy, King Eric the Great, a.k.a. Rick Capo, coming at y'all with another video. And the beats you hear in the background is sponsored by Able Beats. Be sure to follow and subscribe to him on YouTube. He got that slap for the summer, you heard me? And this is a different video that I want to touch, aside from hip-hop and R&B and music in general. But I want to touch on this topic here. And dealing with relationships because this topic here it correlates with what I'm trying to bring up to the present. Now I read something on the Kali, big shout out to the Kali, one of the biggest hip hop sites out there. That's where you get all your news, your sports news, your entertainment news, all great content. So I want to give a shout out to the Kali on that. Now I read this card article here that it says Sex in the City author Candace Bushnell regrets not having kids say she is truly alone let me read this for y'all sex in the city may have left a trailblazing legacy for women on television but the book's original author now thinks her independent lifestyle may have not been as rewarding candace bushnell now 60 who wrote the original 1997 novel which spawned into a successful tv series for hbo Open up to Sunday Times Magazine about her 2012 divorce. Admitted it made her realize how starting a family made her feel truly alone. When I was in my 30s and my 40s, I didn't think about it, she recalled. Then when I got divorced and I was in my 50s, I started to see the impact of not having children and of truly being alone. I do see that people with children have an anchor in a way of people who don't have children. Bushnell first rose into the dating column of the New York Observer, who writing are analyzed in the Sex and the City novel. The series' main character, Carrie Bradshaw, played by Sarah Jessica Parker, was created as a fictionized version of Bushnell. Now, let me get down to the nitty-gritty about this here. This is a prime example of that whole dogma of you don't need no man, you don't need no companion. This is the chickens coming home to roost, and I want everybody who's glorifying that City girls, hot girl summer, living my best life, savage lifestyle stuff. This is what y'all need to pay attention to right here, man. Check this out. We want all that independence. No man, I'll focus on me in the bag. But what is happening is when you go against what requires of human nature, which is love, companionship, it's like food and water. You know what I'm saying? Human beings need love, companionship. They need a husband, wife, I mean, women need husband, men need wives. So, a lot of y'all people talking all that, I'm focused on everything with the bag. Man, check this out. Y'all spending y'all 20s to y'all 50s chasing the bag, trying to become a status symbol, but yet you overlook the small details of what being attractive really is. You, you fail to to understand the true details of dating you fail to understand the true details of keeping someone when you focus on being a status symbol and when you finally hit it you have no clue on how to handle it this is why you see a lot of these celebrities like her like Mariah like J-Lo like Halle like Oprah they all in that same pot yeah they got the big bag they got all the big fame but they can't keep nobody because they don't understand the true dialogues of keeping someone. And here's the cold part about it. And regular people need to stop doing this. Stop listening to these entertainers. Stop listening to all these people spitting that game. It sound fly on the record. But these, these people are doing the absolute opposite. You got Cardi B. You got Meg The Stallion. You got City Girls. They talking all this. Vanessa the nigga, F a nigga, we don't need no nigga, pop your pee, why, why, why. But yet, look at all these chicks' profiles. They married, they having kids, they having families, while you sitting there alone and bitter. Just like Shorty here that wrote this book. You you trying to create blueprints living through the entertainment mindset instead of living on your own. And it's the same thing with the dudes here. You got, we, we, we was following... Ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. It just ain't ish. We was following all those records, but all these guys were married with children. These dudes were talking pimp talk, but they married with children. So, the males just got, got caught up in the matrix just like we did. Just like the females do. So, the morale of the story is at the end of the day, 
Women and men need each other. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Your bag can't keep you comfortable at night at the end of the day. It can provide a great lifestyle. I'm not saying that you shouldn't focus on building your career and building a fortress because by any means, that's needed. A woman wants to feel protected. A woman wants to feel secure. But see, you don't want to get too caught up out there to where that's all you focus on and you, fo you lose a focus on the true details of keeping somebody. That's how a lot of rappers and a lot of entertainers and a lot of people get caught up. So, that's my little thoughts about that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click on Able Beats. Hit the like button. Off the Cuff Radio. We on live every Friday night, 9 p.m. Pacific, 8 Central Time. Also, be sure to check out Cocaine's new album, Finger Roll, which is his, which is in stores now, which is in his platform channel, which is on www.buddyboyentertainment.com. So holla back at me.